Are your ears ringing? Are you feeling a little bit under the weather? Well, you might be. There was a major X 4.0 class solar flare yesterday, one of the strongest types of solar flares. And I'm going to give you a breakdown of what occurred. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. The flare peaked around 8.30 Universal Time or 3.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time or 1.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It was a long duration event starting at 7.44 Universal Time and ended at 8.40 Universal Time. Going to the Soho Movie Theater from NASA. I'll hit play. I got it slowed down. That's it going up there on the western rim of the uh, solar disk. Now, you may think, well, that's not the western edge. That's the eastern edge. But it's opposite here when we're viewing the sun. And then there was a longer or another solar flare on the opposite side. Um, this current sunspot location is going around to the back side of the sun. So it's only going to graze the earth maybe a little bit. And it should impact the earth around the 16th of this month. Here we have the uh, Solar Wind Prediction Center. And we'll hit play. And you can see, well, we'll let it go through. Here's the date, the 16th to the 17th, when they say it's going to be impacting us. And that's it right there. And I'll let it play through again. The earth is right here, this little green spot. All right, so here we go. I don't know if it's going to show. There it goes. It shows it going off on the um, eastern side of the sun. And you can see what direction out there in space that it's going. Yeah, and then at the bottom, too, it gives you an indication how we might be well, a glancing blow. They're thinking maybe an R4 radio blackout that might occur. There you go. Here I'm showing you an image of the sun with the different sunspots. Here we got um, AR4274. This is going to go around to the back side of the Earth, maybe take about a week before it comes around um, back to uh, yeah the, sun, the front side of the Earth. And it may still have um, some punch to it when it, it comes around again. Let me pull this down. I made it larger for you so you can see that sunspot area. And I'll pull it over. That's as far as I can pull it over. AR4. 274 is a highly unstable sunspot region. And once again, it's on the western limb of the sun from our perspective. The same region has been extremely active all week, producing multiple X class flares, including the X5.1, the strongest so far this year on November 11th. A fast coronal mass ejection, CME, was launched with estimated speeds of around 1,500 kilometers per second. Uh, it was detected via the Type 2 radio emissions. It triggered an R3 strong radio blackout on Earth daylight side, primarily affecting high-frequency um, HF radio communications over part of Africa, uh, the Indian Ocean regions, and surrounding areas. Uh, disturbing aviation, maritime, and amateur radio. Uh, the minor solar radiation storm was also reported in some, some observations. X-class flares are the most powerful category. The scale goes A, B, C, M, X, with X being the strongest. And X4 is significant, but not extreme. For comparison, the Carrington event in 1859 was estimated to be an X-40. Yeah, 40 or even larger. This one marks as the second strongest flare for this year behind the X-5.1 uh, from the same sunspot earlier this week. Uh, we've neared the peak of solar cycle 25, solar maximum, so intense activity like, li like this is common right now. Um, this was essentially a partial, partial or parting shot, as they call it, 
from AR 4274 as it rotates from the front of the sun to the far side, reducing the Earth-facing threat. The radio blackouts already occurred, short-lived, lasting minutes to hours on the sunlit side of the sun. Because a sunspot was near the limb, most of the CME is heading away from the Earth northwest direction. Models show that it's likely to miss or only have a glancing blow around November 16th, and that will be tomorrow. If any plasma does graze us, it might cause minor auroras at high latitudes, but no major geomagnetic storms is expected from this specific event. Yeah, so what are your thoughts? I'll be curious to know if it's still going to be active when it comes back around from the backside of the sun. Yeah, in about a week. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.